Hi, this is Carl Ricker from the University of Colorado, and just going to talk a little bit about uh, the outlook for next season. So, you know, right now through the summer, we have some snow remaining at high elevations. It's going to continue to feed uh, the the water balance and stream flow there. Um, looking forward to the next season, uh, looks like we'll have a rather large El Nino. And in Colorado, this usually means um, we're not sure what's going to happen. Uh, we could have slightly warmer temperatures from El Nino. We're right sort of on the border between southern drier areas um, and northern wetter areas. Um, so, but perhaps slightly warmer temperatures that could affect, you know, when uh, snow starts accumulating in the beginning of the season. Um, and uh, sort of looking back to to the current conditions, uh, let's see, you know, flows kind of remain high into some of the lakes on the or the reservoirs on the Colorado River. And uh, there has been a lot of releases, I guess, downstream to keep Lake Mead full and um, Assuming that these high elevation snowpacks uh, continue or persist a bit later into the summer, uh, we're hoping that remains to bolster the the snow the snow flow into the river. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and share my screen and uh, share our, the information we have at the uh, National Snow and Ice Data Center from the Snow Today website. Um, this is a number of uh, graphs and figures that show. Um, the upper Colorado River Basin. So on the upper left, you'll see a map of snow cover in the upper Colorado. The red outline is uh, the upper Colorado. Um, on the right, you kind of see the, the um, next map over there in purple that shows the snow cover that we had throughout the season this year, which was very high. Um, but we can see if we zoom in, say, to the uh, San Juans here in the Colorado that, uh, that we have a bunch of snowpack persisting uh, much of that snowpack is a bit darker right now. This is the snow radiated forcing on the lower left, and that's because of uh, some dust storms in, in early April. And if we look at the summary of the snow radiated forcing, how much extra energy is absorbed by dust on the snow, uh, we see we had a pretty clean snowpack in April and then, uh, or in May, or I'm sorry, in March, and then at the end of April or beginning of April, we had a big jump from that dust storm, and we've been on more normal conditions uh, throughout May and June because of uh, that darkening of the snowpack there. Um, you can see looking at the total snow cover days on the upper right here that sort of uh, met the 22 year satellite record. We're right at the top there with having snow cover uh, persisting for longer than uh, normal time, given the size of the sort of atmospheric rivers that reached all the way into the interior and deposited snow earlier in the year. Um, so right now, uh, if you look at the total snow covered area, this blue line here, you can see we're riding a bit higher than normal. Um, so we have more snow covered area, uh, as you can see on the left over here, than, than we normally do at this time. And hopefully that's going to continue to bolster the stream flow throughout the summer. Uh, that's it from uh, CU Boulder. And uh, I hope you take a look at our website, Snow Today.